Oh, hey there. Didn't see ya. Welcome to Dr. Levin's Music Lab. No, I'm not a real doctor. I lost my medical license after I filled a lady's IV with Tabasco sauce. You know, just to see what would happen. But let's not talk about that. Let's talk about music. In this lesson, I'm going to show you a little motif or lick that utilizes hybrid picking. It lets you jump big intervals, and it's commonly used by Pat Metheny. He does this uh, in his soloing a lot, and I, I think it sounds awesome. So I transcribed one of his solos and learned it, learned this lick, and now I'm sharing it with you. So here's how it sounds. <laughs> Basically, this lick takes the G string and the E string, and they work together to make this intervallic jump. You do a pull off, then pick, and then use your middle finger to hybrid pluck the high E string. So you pick on the G string, pick, then pull off, then pick again on the fifth fret. So, and then you use your middle finger to pluck the high E string. So. So start out slow like this, or even slower, as slow as you need. And just get used to doing that one fifth fret uh, C going to B, then up to A thing. lick up diatonically within the key of E minor or G major. So the way I'm grabbing the high string E note on the left hand is by barring usually. So I bar with my middle finger on this first one, then my ring finger. And then when I get to this one, I use my middle finger. I don't bar, I use a uh, ring, index ring, then middle. And on my right hand, I'm always doing the same thing. I'm going pick, pull off, pick, then middle finger, pluck. And then you can do the same thing going down. So here it is notated, and I'll play it slowly while you look at the notation. So one way you can mix this up and put it in your own playing is by using different string sets. So let's have the D string going up to high E this time. Uh, let's try that again, but less sh <laughs> Oh no, okay. <laughs> And you don't have to just go up to thirds or sixths like we've been doing. You can go up to any interval. So in this case, I'm going to go G, F sharp, G, up to A, which is a ninth. So here's ninths. So the way to get this into your playing is to learn it in all keys and do it in different tempos. Do it as triplets, do it as sixteenths. For example, if this was triplets, it'd be da 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 Or if it was sixteenths, it'd be da 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 And you don't have to accent it that way, but I was just trying to show you how the different feels would work. Really try to explore it in a way beyond just learning the two examples that I've notated for you. They 
are licks until they become part of your vocabulary. Then they're just musical ideas that you can reference at any point that are in your head and can be used beautifully and um, in your own way. Ah. So, yeah, give that a try, and I hope you have fun with those Pat Metheny licks, and please don't sue me for musical malpractice.